with us. We're talking about commercial real estate. And while you said this isn't the problem, it's the relationship with the banks, obviously, that's really of concern. I am curious, I know a lot of our viewers are, for your take on whether or not this question of commercial real estate property value and whether or not they've bottomed. Well, I, to be honest with you, I don't know whether they've bottomed or not because a lot depends on where the real estate is, what kind of real estate it is, what is the nature of their tenancy. Some, some of it will be at the bottom if they have a strong leasing picture that will go for the next three or four years without any turnover and strong financing, and some of it won't. By and large, we've had a big drop in real estate values, but in my judgment, in, in urban areas, in particularly the the parts of urban areas, the major downtown areas where the major office buildings are. By and large, I think that's pretty much worked through. In suburban areas, that's another thing. Again, there I think you have much more difficulty and you will have a much greater drop in real estate. Values. In your markets, you were concerned not too long ago and so you shed assets. So now that property values, if they are lower, would Boston Properties do deals? Or are you looking at anything right now? We are. We raised a billion and a half dollars earlier this year. It is a shall we say, uh, ammunition to go ahead and make the right kinds of acquisitions. We're going to move very slowly on it. Um, if we find the right kind of properties that fits in with our basic strategy, we will try and buy them, and if not, we won't.